fire tears through an apartment complex in Dyer, leaving more than a dozen people homeless. Thanks for joining us. I'm Crystal Martinez. Chelsea Helms has the night off. Our Jesse Pierre caught up with some of the tenants who lost everything. She explains what's next as they try to move forward. I just felt like all of our hard work, everything is just gone. Like. There's no words. I'm still in shock about all of it, really. It's really, I just can't really believe it. Like, I keep thinking I'm in a dream, really. Like, I'm just ready, ready to wake up. Rebecca and Charles Russell trying to make sense of it all. A fire destroying their apartment complex in Dyer. Russell says he was home all alone when the flames broke out just after 8 Sunday morning. I had smelt smoke and stuff. And so I got out and then I looked to my right. You know, I step out, look to my right, and then I see my neighbor's apartment. There's, like, you know, you could see the smoke, black smoke, just pouring out of his house. Assistant Fire Chief Chris Green with the Dyer Fire Department says the apartment complex was already about 75% engulfed in flames when they first arrived on scene, and it took crews about four hours to put the fire completely out. There's a lot of people affected, especially the city of Dyer. It's a small, small community. We're a small department. Um, luckily, we had the other four departments that arrived on scene to help us maintain the fire and, and try to sa salvage what we could. With a total of nine apartments destroyed, the Red Cross is stepping in to help the more than a dozen people displaced. They gave us some toiletries and a, a few blankets and a gift card with some money to get food. Russell says he grabbed what he could Sunday but lost his most treasured items. I had some pictures that were irreplaceable. You know, me and my dad whenever I was a baby and my dad's passed away, so I'll never get those pictures back. Russell says his five-year-old daughter's bedroom was the closest to where the fire started and is thankful all of his family made it out safely. I have what's most important to me right here and we're just gonna start fresh. The owner of the property is trying to relocate residents to other apartments, and the fire department is working to determine the cause of the fire. In Dyer, Jesse Pierre, Fox 24 News.